Well, it is a sportsman's paradise. The Kansas City Boat Show docks in about two hours at Bartle Hall. And this midday, we have Chef Marty Cook here, who is an expert cook in the great outdoors. Marty, thanks for coming in. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Yeah, so we're no longer talking, you know, a can of beans and some hot dogs on a stick. We're talking, you know, getting a little fancy here. Absolutely. There is no reason to be in the outdoors and not have good food. Take one look at me and know that hot dogs on a stick aren't going to do it. <laughs> and uh, I've, uh, over the years, over about 35 years of leading groups in the outdoors, I've come up with some recipes that are really, really good, mm -hmm. very inexpensive, fast and easy to fix, and none of the ingredients need to be refrigerated. Well, that's a huge thing because you don't want to lug around a big old cooler filled with ice, you know, right. while you're trying to camp. So today we're making a skillet pizza. Let's start with the equipment that you have. Is this something well, that you can bring with you on a camping uh, trip? No, actually, I cook over the open fire, but in the buildings where these okay. sports shows take place, they won't even allow a gas stove. So I have to use electric plants, but it's very much like a charcoal fire, very even heat. Mm -hmm. Very evenly distributed, so okay. it's it's pretty much the same thing. So then, would you need to get a special surface to put on your grill then to do uh, this? Well, no, any uh, any heavy skillet. The secret is, uh, on, like on these pizzas, it has to be a fairly thick skillet or griddle to spread the heat evenly. Otherwise, it's going to burn in a spot okay. and not get done in another. So, starting with what is the pizza dough? Well, the this? pizza dough. What we do is we just take these nice flour tortillas, very inexpensive. We squirt a little oil in the bottom of the pan, mm -hmm. put the tortilla on, spin it around to get that oil evenly dispersed. Then we just add pizza sauce, and everybody says, what pizza sauce? I buy whatever's cheapest. Okay, so, and, it and pizza seem to sauce make a doesn't difference. go bad. And, it, well, you can buy it in cans, and also that uh, bobbly or bobbly, I don't know exactly how you <laughs> say it, but they have little uh, uh, plastic bags of it that doesn't need to be refrigerated. Oh, okay. And then okay. we use pepperoni. Uh -huh. Which, even though you buy it in a refrigerated case at the store, if you read the package, it just says refrigeration recommended after opening. Okay, so you can so, buy an unopened pack, go out that's there, right. and then you know you can just and snack we've, on it. We've got like one in here that's just about Ooh. done. The secret is, is you got to be real careful that the bottom doesn't burn. So, hold on, your pizza doesn't have cheese on it? Oh, I'm sorry, yes, I forgot oh, that. There Parmesan, we go. one of the great gifts of the food gods, Parmesan <laughs> cheese. I use this not only on this pizza, but also, I use it uh, in any uh, dish that I'm fixing that isn't quite good. This and hot sauce. If you see me putting Parmesan and tasting it, and then hot sauce and tasting <laughs> it. And actually, the hot sauce, I think what it does is it makes it uh, so hot you don't taste the bad. So I've saved some really <laughs> atrocious mistakes I've made like that. Hot sauce covers it up. Just but like I'm going to need to get right? this off so we don't oh, burn it. But it as you can see, it smells really good though. Yeah. It's a pepperoni pizza and it's mm -hmm. very crisp. And you're all going to get to try this here. And you know, quite honestly, using a tortilla probably makes it a little bit better for you than a big, yes. thick, doughy pizza crust. Now, I don't know if you have a, a St. Uh, St. Louis thin style cr uh, pizza here, but in St. Louis, our pizza is a very thin crust. So these work out just absolutely wonderful. So, what are you going to be doing at the boat show? Well, the next few three, days? Uh, anywhere from three to five times a day. I will be doing a cooking show and we're going to make the skillet pizza. I'm going to show you how to use a little device called a smoker bag to make smoked fish, meat. We're going to make a uh, uh, sausage and veggie stew. And then I'm going to show you some hash browns that you just add some warm water to. You wait 10 minutes and you fry them up and they're absolutely good. We're going to make a, a nice hash brown casserole with some Parmesan cheese. And are you ready for this? Slim Jims. Slim Jims. Diced up Slim Jims. Those things will keep for 20 years. <laughs> And you put that in with a little salt, pepper, and these hash browns and fry them up, and it's absolutely delicious. All right. Well, you can see Marty at the Kansas City Boat Show that kicks off at 2 o'clock this afternoon, runs through Sunday at Bartle Hall. There's boats, ATVs, fishing and hunting gear, interactive activities for kids, cooking shows from Marty. Tickets are $10. Kids 15 and under get in free. Uh, you can buy tickets at KansasCitySportsShow.com or at the door. So let's try this. Mmm. And nice you're not and crispy. Just saying that. <laughs> that is really good. All right, I'm gonna eat. Send it over to Jeff. The <laughs> forecast.